situated in the northeastern part of the city, surrounded by beautiful nature and some of the most interesting sites of Darmstadt, Gashof is the largest dedicated student hostel. Built in 1977-78, with its 11 large buildings, it becomes the home of around 1,000 students, most of who come from different parts of the world. The longest and highest building in Gashof is Gebäude Nummer 6. It has 15 floors and 64 apartments, which is almost 30% of the inhabitants of the whole Gashof. In the beginning of 2004, Studentenwerk decides to make some little changes in the construction and looks of the building, and its 400 inhabitants should try to cope with all inconveniences with the hope that it will become a better place to live in. How long is it? Also, I think that the architects say one year, but I think that it will be a little longer. I think that it will be January. I think that it will be. People had to get rid of their couches in front of the apartments, where in the summer one could enjoy the fresh air and the nice sunshine while reading. They were also not allowed to keep their bikes there anymore because this would of course disturb the workers and there was a time when everything that was left, like satellites or any other private property, was just thrown away. The only thing left was dirt. There were days we couldn't we couldn't talk normally here. We had to shout to you know hear each other talking. And uh, well, it's got an unbearable situation. I uh, I spent uh, more and more time outside the uh, dormitories. I uh, even try to sleep over with friends when I get the opportunity to. But is it really working to have the renovation process in parallel? Ja, das geht, das geht. Wir haben auch schon viele Objekte gehabt, wo zum Beispiel äh, das Bad rausgerupft worden ist, die Heizung ist weggekommen, wo die Leute haben nur ihr Wohnzimmer so Sachen gehabt, wo sie drin geschlafen haben, gegessen haben und äh, das war denen ihr Platz. Well, it's uh, never happened to me actually, but I uh, heard from the neighbors. They had incidents of construction workers getting in the rooms without uh, without even knocking on the door, without any kind of permission. It's like it's, you've got no privacy anymore here. But the inhabitants of the building are not the only ones affected. Um, I live here in the near from the sixth floor, and for nine months or so, it's here totally loud. Also bei uns ist, ich weiß nicht, wie, wie die Leute das überhaupt aushalten können. Äh, wir sind selber ein bisschen weiter entfernt und äh, schon ab sieben können wir nicht mehr schlafen. Ähm, also der Lärm ist auch nicht das einzige Problem, finde ich. Ich weiß ja, dass die die Asbestplatten abbauen und es ist ja krebserregend. Und normalerweise sollte man eigentlich da gar nicht wohnen, auch nicht in der Nähe. Ich bin einmal vorbeigekommen. Und die Arbeiter haben die Platten irgendwie äh, abgemacht und geschnitten und dabei ist der ganze Staub runtergefallen äh, und da laufen ständig Leute vorbei und äh, atmen das ein und das finde ich, ich weiß nicht, wie man das überhaupt zulassen kann. Ich finde, vielleicht wäre das besser gewesen, wenn die die Studenten für zwei Monate oder so irgendwo hin geschickt hätten und dann schnell die Arbeiten zu Ende gebracht hätten, weil so so kann man nicht auf Dauer leben einfach.